This week we'll be using the Spellbinders July Card Kit of the Month to create this beautiful mermaid and permaid celebration card. To make this card, what you'll need is the Celebrate Card Kit by Spellbinders. I'm also going to be using gold embossing powder, but that's completely optional. I will also be using shimmer paste, but again, that is also completely optional. So first, let's begin with die cutting our mermaid. For this first round, I'm going to be using skin tone for her body and arms, pink for the hair, teal for the tail, and then dark blue for the embellishments of the tail and black for the eyes. Now that those are all cut out, I'm going to take a piece of blue cardstock, the same color as the bottom of my tail, and I'm going to take out the tail die as well as the inner tail die to create the layered part. I'm going to put my tail die down and then I'm going to put the inner part inside of it so that it fits together. The tricky part about this is it's hard to get the inner part to be centered inside of the tail, but once you get it, just washi tape it down and then go ahead and die cut it. For the lips, I'm going to take the paste die and cut it out again in pink. Now that it's cut out, you can see how the two pieces fit together. There's still a few pieces left that we need to cut out. I'm going to cut a light blue bra for the mermaid as well as a white banner out of Bristol Smooth cardstock. Now I'm going to begin assembling the mermaid. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of our eyes with the tweezers and I'm going to put a little bit of matte glue onto it and then I'm going to put it into the little wells on her face that the eyes are meant to go in. Then I'm going to take her lips, again with the tweezers, and do the exact same thing. Next, I'm going to again use my matte glue to glue on her bra. Now it's time for her hair. The hair that the dye creates has a slit in it for her head, so you can just slip her head in so that the bangs still cover her face, but there's hair behind. So I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to draw along that curve so I know where to put my glue. Then I'm just going to use my glue and I'm going to glue her head to the hair. Then I'm going to go back and glue down the bottom of her head as well as her torso. Then I'm going to use a pin to carefully spread the matte glue over the layer of the tail and then I'm just going to press it on. Then I'm going to use my regular glue and glue on the fin at the bottom. In the extra ruffle of the fin, I'm just going to put some more matte glue on it and I'm going to glue it to the tail. I want her arms to hold the banner, so I'm not going to glue them on yet. Instead, I'm going to wait until I know the angle that the banner is going to go at. But first, for now, I'm going to glue on her tail. I'm going to emboss my banner with the Celebrate sentiment from the stamp set using a stamp platform and Versamark ink. Remember, this step is completely optional. You can just stamp it on with regular ink if you want, but I thought this would give it a little bit more pop. Now I'm going to use some gold embossing powder to cover the lettering that I just stamped. If you want to know what brand I'm using, I'm using WOW. To heat gun it, because it's so small, I'm going to use a bit of washi to secure it. Now we're going to create the permaid using the small die of the month. I'm going to be altering some of the die sets here to make it like a kitten mermaid. 
I'm going to cut out a tail the same color as the mermaids and an end the same color as the mermaids. Then I've got a brown color and I'm going to cut out the face, the body, and the paws. The paws come with the body, but we're not going to be using them, so you can just set them to the side. Before we're finished, however, I'm going to cut out another body of the same color. Now that the banner's ready, I can put on her arms, because now I know I don't want them to be at a too far out angle, because the banner's not really that big. So now I'm just going to use a little bit of my matte glue and a pin to secure on her arms. Now our mermaid is complete and ready. Well, not really, because we still gotta give her a touch of shine using this glitter paste. I'm going to use it on both her tail and the kitten's tail pieces. Once again, this step is completely optional and you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I added a bit of washi on her torso so that any glitter doesn't get on it. I'm going to take out the sponge and I'm going to use it to smoosh around the glitter paste until a bunch gets onto the sponge. Then I'm going to use it similar to a Distress Ink brush in that that you rub it around in circles until the entire surface is coated. It may get a little messy, but I love the shimmery look it gives the tail. Then I'm going to repeat the process on the two end pieces of the tail. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the mermaid's tail, just being extra, extra careful to make sure it doesn't get anywhere else. Now it's time to assemble our kitten mermaid cross, a catfish, if you will. So first I'm going to start off by cutting down the tail. It's too long and it would look really weird if a cat had the same size tail as a person mermaid. So I'm just going to cut off the end so that at the little bend it makes a new corner. Don't worry if it looks a little bit rough because it'll be covered up by the end piece anyway. So to create the body, I'm going to take the two body pieces I cut out earlier and they're going to be against each other. So the flat side is going to be against the flat side, but they're gonna overlap a little bit. Then the paws are going to go on top of the upper one. I'm going to start by putting glue on the top portion of the lower body, and then I'm going to attach it to the upper body. Then I'm going to glue the tail to the lower body. Next, I'm going to glue the top of the paw section to the bottom of the head. Once placed, it'll look like this. Now I'm going to put glue on the paws in the bottom part of the head and attach it to the upper body. Now I'm going to glue both tail pieces together, the two end pieces, not the main one yet. Now I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to glue both end pieces to the tail. The next step is to pick your paper. Finally, after all that work, it's time for the assembly stage. I'm going to put the mermaid and the permaid right next to each other with the mermaid holding the banner. Then I'm going to take my glue and glue them down very, very well.
Then I'm gonna grab my banner and glue it down as well. Finally, I'm going to grab my permade and glue him down as well. Now for the fun part, embellishing. I'm going to take the teal dots and put them on with the bigger ones at the bottom and the smaller ones near the top. I realized that I didn't actually give my cat a face. All of the face pieces are connected, so what you can do is cut them out of white and then just color them in using a marker. I ended up going with the more ovular nose, but no matter which nose you pick, grab a pair of tweezers, use your matte glue, and just glue it right on the face. Then you can grab your marker again for a little bit of touch-up. I'm then going to take a black pen and fill in the little divots for its eyes. Finally, I'm going to take a white pen and draw a little white dot in the mermaid's eyes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make a card that's truly worth celebrating. Even if you don't make this card, I hope this serves as inspiration for how you use your kit. As always, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe for more tutorials. Stay crafty till next time!